Hey, good to see you. Hope you're doing well. Today on this video, we're talking about all the accessories I use for the Zeon Weeble Lab. Which basically, I never do like this. I don't ever, this is not, I don't even, this is, I don't do, this is not how I do this at all. Not even close. My name is Jake Sloan. I'm a videographer and photographer living in Alaska, and this channel is all about the equipment and tips and tricks that I use in my production company here for drones, phones, and cameras, um, and, and gimbals, ridiculously accessorized gimbals that look like this, because I don't ever do this in real life. It's kind of fun to look at. This video is not sponsored by anybody. None of all of this mess was sent to me by any company. I purchased all of this mess with my own money and um, it's stuff I use regularly, but not like this. First, one of my favorite accessories is the phone holder that Yoon designed to work with the Weeble Lab. It is a fantastically well-designed little piece of metal that folds sideways so when it's on the gimbal you can fold it up somewhat flat and have it out of the way and when you open it listen to this oh so satisfying such a nice solid sounding click it's very easy to attach it the way they designed this particular thumb screw you put it up it has teeth it grabs on you tighten the screw down and you're ready to go you pop your phone in there and suddenly you have a back facing screen, which is great, or a front facing screen if you happen to be filming yourself, or a top down screen, or an up uh, from the bottom down screen. Super maneuverable, super quick, super easy to move your phone around and be able to see what you're seeing. If you wanna use something like a HD monitor, a small HD monitor, or like this Field World MA5, um, it will fit, but then as soon as you power it with a battery in the back, there's nothing really for the phone holder to clamp down on. So I wouldn't recommend going this route for an actual external HDMI monitor. For my next accessory, I feel like I should do that with some magic and have something like pop out of my hat or my sleeve or something like that. For my next accessory, ooh, I caught it, sweet. Uh, <laughs> you don't know how, how many times I had to try that out. Um, are these little quick connects that Zune designed, which Basically, you pull the ring back and they pop in and out. They will attach to anything with a quarter 20 mount. It's great because as soon as you screw it on to your Weeble Lab, then all of a sudden, your tripod here, which is also your, your second handle down below, easily disconnects and reconnects to the top. So you can quickly enter briefcase mode and still have a quick handle. You're all done with that. You wanna set the gimbal down, take it off, put it back on the bottom, spread the legs, and you're ready to go. That is a fantastic accessory for the Zeon Weeble Lab. I believe you get these if you buy the Creator or Master package. Otherwise, they're about $20 each and you have to buy two of them in order to use them properly. Really, really great, really well designed. Now on the subject of handles, you may have noticed that if you have the handle up here and you put your hand in there, you don't have very much clearance between the handle the gimbal arm and your knuckles. So, there is a pot, there is a solution to that. There are a lot of third party handles out there. Basically, any handle with a quarter 20 will work. However, Zhiyun put these little indents in there so that a handle will lock into it. I did some digging and found this camera handle, which is linked in the description below, that is specifically designed for the Weeble Lab. Now, if you notice, it has a small pin there so that when you attach it and screw it in, it clicks and then it's locked into place so it won't accidentally come loose. Look how much more clearance there is between my knuckles and the gimbal arm. So much more clearance, so much better. It's not the cheapest, it's about $40, so it's about the same price as um, two of these quick connects, which I actually then put these together and have a quick connect set up right here like this so that uh, I can pop this handle off and on really quickly and easily um, once it's set up, especially like that. Put it on, off, it's ready to go. The nice thing about this handle is 
It has a quarter 20 mount here. It has two here, two here, and a bunch right here. So you can even add more if you wanted to put a monitor right here or a light or a microphone like the uh, Rode Video Micro. You could put a small arm, a small uh, piece up here to get a microphone up there if you wanted to. Or if you wanted to put a big arm, you could put a big arm on there and have it work for a microphone. Obviously, anything with a quarter 20 mount, you can mount to this, which is a great, exceptional little piece of gear. So let's say you didn't get the phone mount because I think it's about $100, it's expensive. I got mine for free when I bought my Weeble Lab from B&H because they were running a special. Um, and it's great, I think it's probably worth the price. It's one of the better pieces of equipment that Xeon has along with these, uh, the Quick Connects. But let's say you want to mount a monitor onto the side of this and you don't want to use your phone, but you want to use something like the Feel World or an Atomos or something like that. Then for $10 on Amazon, you can pick up this little uh, grip arm here, which is uh, great because it just easily screws in. Clamp it down. And then all of a sudden you can mount a monitor to the Weeble Lab. And there you go. Now you have a monitor, pop your HDMI cable in to your camera and you're ready to go. In my experience, balancing the camera with an HDMI cable coming out, it works okay, but it definitely does put a little bit of strain on there depending on the type of cable you use. You wanna use something that's very lightweight and balance the camera really well with the cable attached. Now let's say you're gonna be filming in the dark, but you have people that you wanna light up, and so you need to add a small light like this Aperture ALM9, which is a great little light, super bright, um, but also lightweight and self-powered with a battery that's built in, rechargeable battery. So how do you mount something like that? Well, if you have a little arm like this, um, it's easy. If you have this handle, you can always just attach it to the top of this handle and then move the arm in place, or you can attach it to the side here with the where the phone grip would normally go. And the great thing about using something like this, I know it looks super weird and strange, but you can move the light far enough forward so that it doesn't cast any shadows from the gimbal arms or the camera or anything like that when you're moving around. Super nice, super helpful, still super lightweight and uh, easy to use. If you decided you wanted to mount something like the Rode Video Micro or any other type of Rode microphone, same thing, easy to mount. Keep it close to your camera, but not have to worry about uh, you know, getting in the way or balancing the camera strange or anything like that. And last but not least, because it's probably one of the more expensive accessories, is the zoom slash focus servo motor that you can buy from Zhiyun. Um, this is great, especially if you have an all manual lens like this Laowa 15mm 2.0. This is manual focus, it's manual aperture, it has no electronics in it at all. It does take amazingly great sharp photos at a super wide field of view, which is why I love it. And so if you wanna rack focus anything or if you're focusing on the fly and you don't wanna be touching the camera while it's on the gimbal because obviously every little moment, movement and touch makes the footage so that it's not smooth, then you need this little servo motor, which is, it's great. It's super strong, it's super powerful. I even tried it on the Tamron 28 to 75 as the zoom. The problem was I had to back weight, I had to add some weight to the back of the camera in order to get it to balance properly because of the extra weight out front and especially when I zoomed out, but it worked. And there you go, a fully, completely, absolutely accessorized Ziyun Weevil Lab because more is always better, right? I turn this on. There we go. Yeah, that's that's so much better. I just think about how amazing you look when you're walking around like this. I'm just kidding. I don't do this at all. I balance this on top of the camera on the Zoom Weeble Lab, which works great unless you want to go into underslug mode and then you can't do that but I don't really see myself wanting to get a lot of audio when I'm using underslung mode. Um, I generally just use the phone for a monitor. I either connect to my Sony via the Sony app or via the Zune 
um, Weeble Lab app. I would love to know what sort of accessories you use with your gimbal, whether it's the Weeble Lab or some other gimbal. Let me know in the comments below because I'd like to hear about it. Um, if you like this video, if you found it helpful or entertaining at all, then you can subscribe to my channel and hit the like button and share this video all over social media because apparently that's what you're supposed to do with social media is just share lots of stuff. Other than that, thanks for watching. My name's Jake Sloan. I'll see you again soon in the next video. Cheers. <music>